Assalamu alaikum student. This is question number 9 from 2008 May June 5070 paper 2. Dilute ethanoic acid and dilute hydrochloric acid both react with magnesium ribbon. Give the formula of iron found in both of these acids, dilute acids. So here they are talking about what is common to both acids. It's hydrogen ion. Aqueous. Magnesium ribbon reacts with hydrochloric acid as shown in the equation. So here you are provided by equation 0.24 sample of a magnesium ribbon is added to 5.0 centimeter cube of 2 mole per dm cube of HCl which reactant magnesium or hydrochloric acid in excess. So I would recommend you that you need to solve it through calculation instead of solving in your head. <clears throat> they are asking, use calculation to explain your answer. Now, you are provided by 0 0.24 gram mass and you are provided by, uh, in this case, you are comparing HCl. So, uh, volume of HCl is 5 centimeter cube and concentration of acid is 2 mole, 2.0 mole per dm cube. Let me write it exactly. So 5.0 centimeter cube and 2.0 mole per dm cube. Now, you know, concentration is given and the first thing to solve these kind of questions you need to find their moles. So to find moles for HCl, you will use the same thing, N is equal to C into V. And here you have 5 divided by 1000 into concentration 2. And you get your answer, which is 0 0.01 moles. Now, coming back to magnesium. So, number of moles, to find number of moles of magnesium, you know that 1 mole can contain 24 grams. So, 0 0.24 contain. You can use it through unity method or you can use simply 0 0.24 gram divided by 24. And you get your answer, which is... 0 0.01 mole. So, first thing first, you solve the number of moles. Now, you just need to work out which is in excess. So, it is very simple. Here, you know, you have equation magnesium plus 2HCl combined to form MgCl2 plus hydrogen gas, right? So you can see equation ratio is 1 is to 2 and you find the number of moles, both number of moles are same. So it has 0 0.01 mole and it also have 0 0.01 mole. You can say just it, that HCl in it is, in, is a limiting reactant, but by calculation, they are asking, so you need to divide it with molar coefficient of this and molar coefficient of this. See? And you get the answer. For this, you get same 0 0.01. But for this, you get 0 0.005. And you know, this is less than this. So it means that your limiting reactant is HCl and your magnesium is in excess. So this is the way how to find limiting reactant. Now you find the limiting reactant, your limiting reactant is HCl. Which reacting? Magnesium or HCl is in excess. So you find magnesium is in excess. Calculate the maximum mass of magnesium chloride that can be formed in this reaction. Now you need to calculate the maximum mass of 
magnesium chloride so you know we continue our calculation with our limiting reactant so just pick them up from the equation and now start the calculation so let's do it here see you have uh, two hcl in equation and you have mgcl2 one so here we have two is to one ratio and number of moles of this is 0 0.01 and we need to calculate the moles of mgcl2 first so we get 0 0.005 now this 0 0.005 or 5 into 10 is to power minus 3 are the number of moles of uh, magnesium chloride and we need to calculate the mass so you know one mole mass of magnesium chloride you have to calculate it it, it is equal to 95 and you multiply it with 0 0.005 and you get the answer which is 0 0.475 i hope you understand this part very well so all right students you now you know the number of moles uh, of uh, mgcl2 is 0 0.05 and we multiplied it and we get mass in gram which is 0 0.475 i hope you understand this now the third part they are saying 0 0.24 gram of sample of magnesium ribbon is added to 5.0 mole uh, centimeter cube of 2 mole per dm cube of ethanoic acid explain why this reaction forms the same volume of hydrogen but take place much more slowly than the reaction of the mass of magnesium with 5.0 centimeter cube of 2 mole per dm cube of hydrochloric acid so for uh, for this we need to mention equations if magnesium reacts with hcl we have this equation we just need to see their molar ratio we get mgcl2 and hydrogen gas right so if we see two moles require one mole here two is to one with hydrogen gas so same mole ratio will give same volumes in a similar way if we check magnesium reactive reacted with ch3 coh giving rise you know how can we make its formula ch3 co o minus and hydrogen ion is released this react with mg2 plus ion and they exchange their valences and you get ch3 coo whole 2 mg and this is called magnesium ethanoate plus h2 now here you have two so you need to put two here and your equation is balanced now if you can see the mole ratio in this equation for ethanoic acid and hydrogen is same so hydrogen gas is same so it means that they produce same volume of gas so you need to mention as the mole ratio in both equation are same so that is why they produce same amount of volume now they are asking we have same quantities but this reaction occur with fast speed and this with slow speed so here comes an answer hcl you need to describe it on the basis of strength of acid it's a strong acid 
so it ionizes completely and that shows complete ionization mean complete hydrogen ions released and they quickly form hydrogen gas and they release hydrogen they are weak acid and weak acid is which is partially ionized so here you write it is weak acid so it ionizes partially i hope you understand this question and uh, i uh, we will meet in the next question of the same paper